It's 537. Welcome back. We're continuing our series on change makers in our communities this week by introducing you to a group of grandmas who started a grassroots movement to fight for democracy in North Dakota politics. And my grandson had a brochure in his car because he was going to do an interview with me. And his buddy, his football buddy, said, "Who's is that your grandma on the brochure and he said yeah and he the friend said she's badass and that's how the nonpartisan grassroots movement got their name the badass grandmas have been uh, had a mission to get especially older women who are concerned about their legacy for their grandchildren involved in improving government the grandmas were unhappy with how wealthy special interests were influencing state politics so they got together and wrote an amendment to the north dakota constitution after writing the law and getting the signatures then we needed to tell the public uh, before the election in November of 2018, we needed to explain to them what this was all about and uh, why we thought they should vote for it. The amendment established an ethics commission, guidelines for how lobbyists can interact with legislators, prohibits lobbyists from gifting legislators, and revealing how dark money is used to influence elections. They campaigned all around the state, and now it's Article 14 of the Constitution. The voters of North Dakota agreed that um, the voters, the citizens, needed more information. They needed accountability by state government. Um, they needed transparency. Where's the where are the funds coming from? Where are they being spent? Who's influencing decisions that are being made? The grandmas are now campaigning for the North Dakota Voters First initiative, which is making voting easier for out-of-state military members, as well as preventing gerrymandering by having the Ethics Commission draw voting districts in a transparent public process. There are so many ways in which we're noticing now that the public just is kind of restless, is unhappy happy with one thing or another and uh, wants all kinds of changes and uh, the pandemic of course has only um, intensified that feeling uh, so we're helping uh, people who haven't been thinking about government for a long time realize what's been happening and how government has changed and uh, how changing government now could really um, make life better for the next generations. Now, each of the grandmas who formed the movement previously held lengthy careers in both the public and private sector. Dina was the deputy commissioner for the ND Department of Agriculture. Ellen served as the president of two universities mm -hmm. at the same time. And Kathy was the director of the Center for Community Vitality for NDSU Extension Services. So needless to say, the, these founding members are hyper-qualified and action-oriented. Yeah, absolutely. Definitely people we should know about. Yeah, absolutely. So doing a lot of great work. And they're, they're nonpartisan, so you mm -hmm. know, they're on both sides of the aisle. Yep. And to learn more, yep. you can uh, go to our website, cakesnet.com. All right, great story there.